are here with Frank Sanders, who is here supporting the American Youth Football League. Frank, tell me how important it is for youth in this organization to support football for the other people who are looking outside. Tell me how important football is coming from the NFL, from youth to the NFL. Well, if you want to think, honestly, that's how I got my grounds. I started off in Youth Football League in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I've gone through all the systems of the small Pop Warner League to the little, little Boys League, all the way to high school. And I got my foundation from youth football. And it was there that I got a good grounding on what it means, you know, from the, the fundamentals, the basics of football. And I had a lot of great coaches around me that taught me a lot of great things for us, hard work, discipline, character. And one another great thing was it taught me how to submit to authority. And sometimes children have a problem with that when it comes to the adults in their lives, the family members, the parents in their lives. And um, one thing that it, it gave me was that sense of that sense of confidence and ability to know that um, from my youth football league experience, it, it gave me the experience to know that I could become something pretty special. And I learned, I learned that my gifts and talents from youth football when it came to that because of the coaches that I had around me and the players that I had around me. Thank you so much, Frank Sanders. Thank you for supporting American Youth Football. Thank you. Hello, we are here today with American Youth Football, and I'm here with Mr. Robert, who played in the NFL. Robert, tell me how important is it to support American Youth Football League? It's very important, um, giving back. I mean, I was fortunate enough to be able to play in the National Football League, but I had to earn my stripes to get to there. So giving back to these kids and bringing our, uh, spending the time and giving out, it's, it's, it means a lot to us. Thank you so much. I thank you today for supporting the league. Right, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, we are here today with Norris Thomas, former NFL player, mentor to many. And can you tell us the other things you do? Uh, currently, I'm still uh, teaching TV productions at Hamilton High School, uh, former track coach over there. But most recently, uh, joined the staff at MaxPrepCBSSports.com. So we're very active here in the Valley. Actually, the state of Arizona, we're covering high school sports. And uh, so we get a chance to not just see the kids in a younger age, but also follow them through their high school careers. Can you tell the people out there how important it is to support American youth football? Well, I mean, everyone, there's, there's a reason why high school football is what it is. It's because it, from humble beginnings, if you want to call it that, uh, playing at the park, that's where you first get your passion for the, for the game. And this, uh, this tournament like this is just another way to show your support for the young people. Also, just show your, your support and meet other guys that play the game from such a young age. And now they're uh, finished. We, we can no longer put the pads on, but this is our way to show our support. And we just really want to encourage other people to come out and, and do the same same thing whether you're a player you probably were a cheerleader at some point but the kids this is where the advantage happens for them is through the support through events like this and uh, D. Gray has done all, always has done a great job with these kind of events. Thank you Norris. Thank you. Hi today we are here with the Phillies Jay and Rebecca. First of all I want to start off with Rebecca is such a wonderful wife to let her husband spend all day out here golfing while she slaves in the kitchen, takes care of the kids. No, but seriously, how important is it to support American youth football today? Well, it's special because that's the foundation of our game. Our, our kids playing sports and playing football. And, you know, you, you know growing up how important sports were to you. And they provide the foundation not just for athletics but also for life lessons. And, you know, so to be out here and to be able to support uh, the Youth Football Foundation and uh, have fun playing golf, it's a great day. And, Rebecca, how important is it you to support your husband while he's out here golfing? I always support Jay, um, especially when it's for a good cause. Thank you. <laughs> well, she babysat one of the other guys in my group, the daughter for uh, Rich Bartell today. So she and was I double might, dipping. I might want another baby after that. <laughs> Yay, Rebecca! <laughs> Thank you to Phillies. Thank you. Thank you. Today I have another special guest with me. Can you please introduce yourself? All right, I'm Steve Jordan, uh, former Minnesota Viking football player. Hi, Steve. So glad to have you. Can you tell me how important it is for us to support the American Youth Football League for children, just to support this whole cause today? Right. No, it's extremely important. You know, the, obviously the youth are going to be our future, and that sounds cliche-ish, but it is absolutely true. Uh, the other thing that uh, I love about youth football is, uh, again, ultimate team sport. Uh, these kids are getting taught a lot of skills, a lot of life lessons, uh, teaches them how to win, teaches them how to lose, uh, teaches them discipline, that sort of thing. So there's a lot of those life skills that you learn off the field, and that's why I've always been very supportive of it. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay. Today I'm standing here with a special guest, and she's actually standing in the gap for her brother, and she's also helping out with the American Youth Football event today. Can you please introduce yourself and your brother? Hi, my name is Keon Campbell, and my brother is the Arizona defensive end Calais Campbell, number 93. And Can you please tell me how important it is to support American youth football? It's crucial to support American football because I think this is where the, the stepping stone for a lot of children, um, this is where they get their uh, their foundation for whether, what they do and pursue later on in life. I know it was especially important for my brothers, especially Calais. Um, he started at six years old and played in youth football and has not played in his entire life, you know, until now, you know, he's in the NFL. This is his um, third, fourth year, when his fourth year, and it was very important for like from six until now. I mean, I can count on one, two fingers how many times he's missed a game. So it's very, very important. So thank you so much. Hi, today we're here again with another special guest. Can you please introduce yourself? JT Smith. JT, can you please tell us how important it is to support their American youth football? Well, you got you have to make sure that the kids know what they're doing, and, and that's going to protect them in the long run. So the, the more we can teach them, the better it is for them in the long run. Thank you so much. Today we have Kwame Lasseter here today. Kwame, please tell me, did you actually play youth football? You know what, I grew up in Newport News, Virginia, uh, in the Tidewater area, and I played youth football. I started around eight, eight years old. Uh, and I had a passion for it ever since. And then playing it so much, uh, I was able to get go to school for it. It opened up a lot of doors. But I learned the game in a youth league, Pop Warner League uh, in Virginia. Now tell me, what can you tell to future youth who are right now playing in the American Youth Football League, how they're looking at you guys as NFL players and they're looking up to you. What advice can you give them today as they're playing as youth? I'll tell you one thing, uh, and this is some real serious advice. Learn how to tackle. The guys in the NFL today cannot tackle. They, they, they make a lot of hits, but you're hitting another grown man. you got to wrap them up and tackle. Learn how to play the game instead of having to just wanting to go out there and play football. Learn how to play the position that you have a passion for. If you're a defensive back, learn how to play defensive back. Learn the stance. Learn the alignments. Learn where, you're gonna, where you need to be. Um, so one of the main things is learn every technique you can about football, and then it makes you a better down the road. Because if you look at these guys today, a lot of teachers don't, a lot of coaches don't teach in youth football. They just send them out there, put 11 guys out there just to play football. So learn how to play the game instead of wanting to play the game. Now also tell the youth how important it is of education. Education is very important. i tell you one, um, I coached this year in the Channing Youth Football League, which was, it was an experience in itself. It was fun. I also was the defensive coordinator at Mesa, um, coached at FBU Football University. The importance of education is, as a, as a coach, I'm not playing any dummies. I don't care how talented you are, I would never put a dummy out on the field because there's 10 other guys out there counting on you to do the right things. And if you're going to be selfish and try to make plays for yourself or if you're not going to wake up and go through the pro process that they have to go through and go to class and get your grades, the reason why you are in school, if you're not willing to do that, I'm not willing to put you on the field. That's a real NFL player, you guys hear me?